Assalamualaikum. Good morning, my dear students. How are you? <coughs> Alhamdulillah. I am well by the great grace of Almighty Allah. I wish you all also well by the great grace of Almighty Allah. Dear students, for the COVID-19, COVID the serious pandemic, the school activities is hampered all over the country, all over the world for many days. So the government has taken quick decision to take online classes so that our students do not forget their studies. They could continue with their studies. They keep going with their studies. They prepare their lessons living in the house so that anytime they can face the exam and so that they can keep up with the latest information of the world so that they are not ignorant about their subjects. Finally, with the subject teachers are before you, so always you will find us in the online classes. And at the very outset of my speech, of my class, I want to thank the People's Republic of Bangladesh for opening this online system or this digital system. Certainly the present government is the dreamer of this satellite world, of this digital world. I wish their grand success. I also express my thanks and gratitude to the Ministry of Education, Naim Maushi, Local Education Office, my respected SMC Sanjars High School Khurna, my dearest head sir, my madam, all my dearest colleagues and good afternoon. I welcome you all to the online class Sanjars High School Khurna. I wish you all are ready with a book and paper and pen so that you can jot down, note down, write down the important parts of our today's classes. Dear students, can you guess what we are going to read today? What we are going to read today? I am Kaji Kamul Islam, assistant teacher English, St. Javier's High School, Khulna. I am going to take your classes for class 6 English, first paper for class 6 English, first paper. Now I will take your classes for English, first paper. At first I want to show you a picture. Dear students, can you see the picture? Can you see the picture? What do you see in the picture? Yes, you are right. This is the picture of our national memorial. This is the picture of our national memorial. Dear students, can you say where it is situated? Can you say where is this picture situated? Yes, you are right. This picture is situated at Sabhar. This is our national memorial. What is the significance of this national memorial? Why it is related? Yes, this is a symbol of our independence. This is a symbol of our victory day. To remember, to recollect our independence, to recollect our victory, to show our respect to our freedom fighters and the martyrs who write down their lives for the country. We have established this big national museums. We have established this national museum at Shabha in Dhaka. And you will be happy to know that this picture will give us. <coughs> I think you have got mass pleasure from this picture. So dear students, can you tell which lesson are we going to read today? Yes, today we are going to read lesson 14. All right, we are going to read lesson 14. Lesson 14. Our pride. Lesson 14. Our pride. So 
So today we are going to read lesson 14, our pride. Dear students, so what is our pride? Yes, you are right. Our independence, our victory, our war of revolution, our freedom fighters, our national Muslim and our greatest leader, the father of the nation, the declarer of our independence, Bangamandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, is our pride. So, we are going to learn about our pride. So, what is the outcome of our today's lesson? After completing the lesson, you will be able to read and understand text. So, whenever you will go through the text, you will be able to understand the text. Ask and answer questions. And from here, you will be able to ask some questions and to give some answers to any question. Write short paragraphs. You will also be able to write some paragraphs of our Independence Day, our Victory Day, our Freedom Fighters, our War of Liberation, and many other topics. You will also get a chance to participate in short dialogue and conversation on familiar topics. You will also get the chance to take part in some conversations and dialogue. So, as usual, at the very outset of my class, I wish to give you some vocabs. I wish to give you some vocabs. This will be some easy vocabs. It will enable you to understand the text more easily. So, please write down. Annually. Dear students, can you tell what is the meaning of the word annually? Annually means once a year. Annually, once a year. Uh, we also called it final. Yeah. Then, can you make a sentence with the word annually? Yes, you are right. Annually, we go to visit a picnic. Annually, we go to arrange a football match. Annually, we asked our students to take in the annual exam and many more. It's right under heroic. Heroic. Dear students, can you tell what is the meaning of the word heroic? Heroic means courageous. Heroic means courageous. Who are famous, brave, who can take any enterprise, who can take daring enterprise who can do some good works for the country for the nation can you really make any sentence with the word heroic our heroic sons fought bravely for nine months to snare the independence of our country from the savage and barbarous pakistani soldiers next write another word liberation Dear students, can you tell what is the meaning of the word liberation? Yes, you are right. The word liberation means freedom. Liberation means freedom. The word liberation means freedom. Independence. Can anybody tell a sentence? Can anybody make a sentence with the word independence? With the word liberation? Yes. Our valiant sons fought bravely in the war of our liberation. Our freedom fighters fought bravely for the independence, for the liberation of our country. Okay. Night. Another word. Surrender. 
is your word R E N D E R surrender surrender dear students can you tell what is the meaning of the word surrender surrender means to admit defeat and give up surrender means to admit to admit to admit defeat to admit defeat and give up so what is the meaning of the word surrender to admit defeat and give up can you write any sentence from this word dear students can you tell any sentence from this word admit defeat surrender yes reading the oral preparation the barbarous savage pakistani soldiers became bound to surrender at the hand of our freedom fighters and they quitted from the oral preparation and they flew from Bangladesh, the land of independence, to their own land, with the guidance of Red Cross, Red Crescent, and so on. So we should not surrender to the enemy. We should fight bravely for the enemy. We will only surrender who will respect us. Their soldiers surrender for their life our people despite of the sanda give them free as a humanitarian team we should respect our soldiers so right another word indio We have nothing to do but to tolerate their barbarous behavior. We had to bear their pangs and torture. But finally, the people of Bangladesh revolted and they snatched their freedom, fighting for nine months with the savage and barbarous Pakistan army. Okay, the last word is pledge. We have another important word, pledge. Pledge. Pledge means promise. Pledge. Pledge means promise. Bho. Oath. Oath. So our freedom fighters took oath, took promise, place that under any circumstances we will not surrender to Pakistani army, we will bring, we will snatch our independence. And finally, fighting for nine months, they brought our independence from the corpse that has sank at the Battle of Kalashi some two centuries years ago. Okay, dear students, now. Open your text and read the text and try to answer some questions. For the people of Bangladesh, March is a month of unforgettable memories. Which month is bringing unforgettable memories? Yes, you are right. For the month of March. For the people of Bangladesh, March is the month of unforgettable memories. So what has happened in the month of March? Many things happened in the month of March. Thus, declaring independence, fighting for our independence was very much important to us. Memories of pride as well as of sorrow and grief. And also it is the month of our sorrow. It is the month of our hardship, plaintiveness, nervousness, grief. It is a month of proud memories. It is a month of our memories that we remember with profound proud. 
It is a month of our proud because in this month, in 1971, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman declared the independence of Bangladesh. This is also our proud month because in this month, in the March 1971, our great leader, the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, declared the independence of Bangladesh. In the early hours of 26th of March, at the early hours, that means before the dawn, at the dawn, before he is being arrested, he declared our independence. Shortly before his arrest by the Pakistani army, Bangladesh declared the independence of Bangladesh. We know that at the genocide, 25th March, the greatest genocide of the world has happened. The armed and ammunition barbarous Pakistani soldiers attack our innocent people, armless people, and they killed millions of our brothers. They give thousands of our brothers on the way, and in some special institution like in Hakka University, Rajarbat Police Line, and some famous places of Hakka. So this month is very much uh, sorrowful to us, and to bring back our independence from their attack, our great leader, Bangladesh Sheikh Mujib Rahman, declared the independence of Bangladesh in the month of March, before his arrest on 26 March 1971. Bangladesh declared the independence of Bangladesh, now 26 March is our independence day. So, we observe this day as our independence day, as our leader Bangladesh Guru Rahman declared the independence of Bangladesh on that very day. So every year, we annually celebrate our anniversary of independence. Every year, in the month of March, we celebrate our victory month. We celebrate our independence because this month, Bangladesh declared the independence of Bangladesh and fighting for nine months, we got back our independence. But March is also a month of sad memories for us. It also brought great sorrows for us. On the 25th March 1971, the Pakistan army swooped upon the Bangladesh. On 25th March, the Pakistan army started massacre, mass killing of the Bangladesh. The Bangladesh did not let it go unchallenged, but we did not give them free challenge. We challenged them, we attacked them. They started resisting Pakistan army. So the people of our country started to protest the Pakistan army and the war of liberation began. So our fight for our independence started. On the 16th of December of the same year, a new nation, independent Bangladesh was born. So from that day, fighting for nine months, defeating the Pakistan army when the surrender on 26, on 16th of December 1971, at the race course, we got our Independence Day. This is why December 16th is our victory day, when the Pakistan army surrendered unconditionally. And so 16th December is our victory day, because on that day, the Pakistani soldiers, the barbarous, the savage Pakistani soldiers, unconditionally surrendered, because they had no condition to prove, as they have done very bad for us. With the Bengalis celebrate the Victory Day by remembering the roles of our free, fearless freedom fighters. And in this very day, we recollect, we remember, we commemorate our valiant sons who sacrificed their life, who has made the greatest sacrifice of their life for the independence of our country. On the other hand, we sadly remember all the sufferings that our people endured during the liberation war. And in every pleasure in opposition, there are some sorrows. For the pleasure of our independence, we have to endure heavy torture, heavy punishment. We have to pay heavy toll because we have to sacrifice our dearest mothers, three million of our dearest brothers, at the chest of two of two lakhs of our sisters and mothers. We have got our independence. Our independence has not come so easily, so automatically. Some people think that we have got our independence very easily. No, we have acquired our knowledge. We have got our independence at the greatest sacrifice. Sacrificing our mothers, sacrificing our sisters, sacrificing our brothers, 
sacrificing the fair blood of all the Bengalis, we got our independence. So as it is our uh, enjoyable day, so also it is our sorrowful day, mournful day. We sadly remember all the sufferings that our people endured during that liberation hour. And many of our people, many of our brothers became bound to migrate to uh, nearby countries, to the neighboring countries. And there they were died in starveness, in appetite, without food, medicine, shelter. We have seen that scenario in a movie that is presented by Tariq Masood, Catherine Masood, Shahzad Hussain, that what a serious matters happens in that time. We pay our deep respect to the martyrs. Certainly, they are our best son. They are the best son of the soil for thousand years. So we should bow down our head in respect to them. We should surrender to them. That until and unless they made this greatest sacrifice of their life, we could not get this independence. Along with celebrating our Victory Day every year, we should make a pledge to our Unitedly, we will celebrate our independence day, we will celebrate our victory day simultaneously. We will take oath, we will take vow, we will take our promise that under any circumstances we will not pardon them who committed these heinous acts against Bengalis, who tried to destroy the Bengalis, who tried to destroy the movement and the expectation and expectation of our independence. Sonar Bangla united to build up the Sonar Bangla that Bangamundu dreamed of. And by defeating them, by beating them, by taking challenges with them, we have to continue our independence and we have to get ready to sacrifice our life for keeping the independence and sovereignty of our country. And we should respect those freedom fighters who sacrifice their life for our country and we should show our empathy, our sympathy, our sad, our grief, our loveness, plaintiveness for our brothers and sisters who made the best sacrifice for our independence. Okay, dear students, I think you have understood the text very well and also you have got a clear idea about our today's chapter. So our today's lesson is Unit 4, Unit 14. Unit 14, our pride and we have, reading the text, we could understand that those who sacrificed our life for the independence of our country are our pride. Now, answer some questions. Let's try to answer some questions. Before ending the class, I wish that you will share with me, will join with me to answer some questions. Why do you feel sad on our victory day? Yes, this is a million dollar question. We feel sad on our victory day. Instead of being happy, in lieu of being happy, remembering the sad sacrifice, remembering the sorrowful sufferings and pangs of our common people, the sacrifice of our brothers and sisters. We feel sorrow despite of enjoying our victory day. The night of 25 March is often called the dark night. Can you say why? Yes. On this very day, 25th March 1971, the armed and armed brutal Pakistani soldiers attacked our innocent brothers who has divided up all sorts of necessaries. They have no arms, they have no guns, they have no ammunition, but they are very innocent, but they have a desire of independence in their mind to stop the desire of their mind, the savage our barbarous Pakistan army attacked them with their arms and operations and created the heinous deeds of the world forever, for centuries. Why do you think we celebrate 25 March is our independence day? Yes, I think we should celebrate 26 March as our independence day because on this day, the greatest son of this soil, our dearest leader, the father of the nation, Bhagavandu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman declared the independence of Bangladesh before his arrest. 
so that the Bengalis can fight for their independence day. As it is the declaration day of our independence day, so I think that it is justified that on the 6th March is our independence day. How many months? How many months did we fight to achieve victory in our all of endeavors? Certainly this is a million dollar question that we have fought for nine months. Our hour of liberation is standard in the month of March 26 after the declaration of Ali Ramangu Sheikh Mujur Rahman and we fight for nine months. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So our hour of independence started on 26 March 1971 and it was ended for the surrender of the savage and Pakistani barbarian army at the race course on 16th December 1971. So this is our victory day. And the victory day and independence day, our joyful day every year. We celebrate these two days with great joy and merriment. Simultaneously, we shed tears, remembering, recollecting the great sacrifice of our freedom fighters, our valiant brothers, and the losing of chastity of our mothers and sisters and migration and death of many more unknown people. So, dear students, I think from today's lessons, you have understood what is the essence of today's lessons, who are our pride, actually, our freedom fighters are our pride, who sacrifice their life for our country. Also, our great leader, the greatest leader of our independence, the uh, director, architect of our independence, the father of the nation, Bangladesh Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, is our pride because only for his declaration we have got our independence. So I think you all have understood the lesson and I wish you will take good preparation for the next classes so that you can also understand the text very easily and can answer all the questions. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Allah bless. Assalamu alaikum.